Hey, this is Andy Mandel with Remax Advisors, and today we're going to talk about your closing costs as a seller. What can you expect to pay when you sell your property? Okay, so one of the questions I get most frequently from my potential sellers is, what do you charge? How much is it going to cost me to sell my house? I have a lot of people who are looking to sell, you know, maybe their first home and move up as they're starting a family and buy a bigger home. And they want to make sure they have enough equity in the home to sell it and to put a down payment on the next one. So let's talk about what those kind of costs are to sell your property. So the first cost associated with selling your property is obviously paying off your current mortgage. If you have a mortgage on the property, that's the first thing that has to get paid so you can pass it on free and clear. After that, in the state of Florida, we have what's called doc stamps. So in Florida, we don't have a state income tax, but we do have a lot of real estate that's very valuable. There's no such thing as a free lunch, unfortunately. The state's got to get you somehow, so they tax real estate. This is always paid by the seller, and it's 70 cents for every $100 of value of the property. So for example, if you were selling a $400,000 house, that is a $2,800 tax that goes to the state of Florida. Unfortunately, nothing we can do about that fee. Uh, the next is a tax and lien search and a title search. So these are negotiable per the contract, but typically here in Broward County, it is a seller's expense. It's important to work with a realtor who knows what the contract says. If you have a lot of, uh, a lot of interest and in offers on the property, this is negotiable, so make sure you're checking the right boxes, but typically this is a seller's expense. Uh, a tax and lien search will run you about $250 to prove that there's no back taxes owed on the property, and there's no liens or encumbrances and that you're able to really sell this. And a title search just shows that you are the true and rightful owner. No one else has any claims on the property or anything like that. And that you have the ability to actually sell that property. The next thing that you may have to pay is what's called an estoppel fee. But you only pay that if you live in a homeowners association. The state of Florida recently passed a law that limits what the associations can charge uh, for an estoppel letter to $250. So what that letter says is that, hey, uh, the seller is up to date on all their fees. They don't owe any back HOA fees. There's no liens from the association or anything like that. Uh, and you need that in order to be able to sell your property. That is a seller's expense, and that would run you about $250, give or take, depending on the association. The next thing you're going to pay as a seller are commissions. And this is obviously negotiable between you as the seller and whoever you hire as your listing agent. But remember, it's not always about the lowest fee. It should be about the best value. What is that realtor going to do for you to earn their commission? So if you want to know what we do, give us a call. We'd be happy to interview for the job and show you what we do. The last thing that you have to pay as a seller are property taxes. So in the state of Florida, the tax bill that comes out in November is for the year that it comes out. So in November of 2018, the tax bill that comes out is for 2018. So if you were to sell a property, that tax bill gets prorated for the amount of time of that year that you owned a property. So let's say, for example, that same $400,000 house, you sold it in 2018 at the end of June. We'll call it June 30th. If your tax bill for the year was estimated to be $5,000 because you sold right in the middle of the year on June 30th, you would have to give the buyer a credit for $2,500, half of that tax bill, and then the buyer would pay the full bill when it comes out in November. So that's closing costs for you in the state of Florida if you're a seller. If you got any questions about what it would cost to sell your home, what your home might be worth, thinking about making a move, either upsizing or downsizing, let us know. We'd be happy to walk you through your unique situation and show you exactly what you're going to walk away with so you can make an informed decision on your next move. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.